PC pickups, mail from friends, and even some cards from Japan. All that and more on February's monthly recap. Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Today, I'm taking a page out of Scott over at Reindeer Studios Playbook, and I'm gonna do a monthly recap video. So, all those things I mentioned in the intro, gonna go over those, show you some sweet cards that I picked up. Let's get on into it. So we'll get started here with Will Clark on the 2002 Topps Archives Reserve. Been trying to hunt down one of these for a long time. Got a good deal on that, so gotta love that in the 89 design. Also picked up a 87 Topps Throwback Relic. This one's number to 199. So I thought that one looked pretty cool just with the wood grain on the wood. Um, gotta love that from 2022. I actually picked one of these up for Goody G for a Christmas present and it was such a good deal, I picked one up for myself. So a 86 Topps Traded Will Clark Rookie Card, PSA 8, and uh, got a steal of a deal on this one, so thought I would add this one to the PC as well. And then to go along with the 87 theme, picked up this Ozzy Smith number to 50 Bat Relic from All Stars. So this is from uh, Series 2, I believe. And then this is from series one. So I thought that'd be kind of a cool to get those, both of those relics. And then my son Preston actually for Christmas gave me a gift card with his own money to our local card shop. And so I went with him and picked this out. So this is a patch card, Ozzy Smith rookie card reprint. So I thought that was pretty awesome to be able to grab that. So thank you, Preston. So to add to the 89 Tops Master Collection, we got this Tommy John on the Andy Friedman Collection, Spotlight 70. So that one is of his, obviously of his 89 Tops, got that one signed, Archives Signature Series as well, so that's cool. And then got this Doug Fister on the 2014 Archives Gold, and this one is numbered to 199. So always love Doug Fister. He pitched a couple years for the Mariners, you can see here. Um, went on to a decent career with the Tigers. So love that one a lot. So I've been working on the 2014 Topps Chrome 89 throwback set. And so there's 25 cards. These are the last ones that I needed. So I got Nick Castellanos, Masahiro Tanaka, Jose Abreu, Clayton Kershaw, and David Ortiz. And you'd think, you know, Big Poppy, that's probably the biggest card in the set. But no, the biggest one is this one right here. Mike Trout got this, picked this up in a PSA 8. It was about the same price as, as buying the car raw, raw. So I thought, you know what? That would be a fun one to add to the collection. And that's the second Mike Trout PSA card that I have from 2014. So thought that made a nice pair. And then the last one here for 87 tops is I picked up this box topper from Update from last year. Um, once I saw that they had these, I was like, I gotta buy this for my Griffey collection. So you can see that's a little bit bigger there, the box topper. So love that one as well. It is time for Packapalooza 3. Coming up this Sunday, March 5th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Enter to win free packs by going to this video and leaving a comment. Hope to see you there. Also, don't talk to robots. Quick disclaimer, not all these cards were ones I purchased in February. A lot of these I bought a long time ago and just haven't had a chance to show. Uh, this next one is a Steve Searcy Coca-Cola Kroger crossover card. So that's pretty cool. It's a little bit bigger size as you can tell by this next one, um, which is a 89 upper deck 20th anniversary buyback. So you can see that cool little hologram there in the bottom. So these were um, inserted into packs in 2009. So I thought that was a pretty cool one, kind of a rare Steve Searcy card to pick up, <clears throat> as well as another buyback from 91 Leaf. This is the 2013 Memories buyback, three of five. So that uh, is a nice one. Just wanted to pick up a couple of those buybacks. The next couple cards came from Japan. So I found a seller that was selling a couple cards. I picked them up. The shipping was only like a buck or two. So um, that's kind of what Japanese stamps look like. So I kept the envelope because I thought it looked pretty sweet. And what we got was two different Roger Repos cards. So this one is 
Roger Repos and Char Charles Manuel, better known as Charlie Manuel, future manager of the Phillies. So this is from a more recent set, like 2013. Um, so I bought this one this summer, and then just recently, the same seller had this one up. And so I purchased this as well. So I got these in two separate transactions, mail from Japan. Gotta always love that. So adding those two to the Roger Repos collection. And then the next one here is a 1967 Dexter Press photo of Roger Repos. So this is actually listed in TCDB, which kind of led got me on to tracking one of these down. Um, and the cool part about this is that it lists here on the back, born in Bellingham and resides in Bellingham. So pretty awesome. It's got Jim on there. Uh, it's also got a little thing here on the outside. I kept it on just because haven't found a top loader for it, but a uh, really beautiful photo from 1967. So thought that was cool. Love those old school A's uniforms. Speaking of Bellingham, this is another super collection I've been working on of Clarence Marshall, also nicknamed Cuddles. And uh, this is one actually Scott from Reindeer Studios picked up for me at the National in 2021. As you can see here, born in Bellingham. So this was my first one, the 1952 Tops. And then second one was a 1952 Tops reprint from 1983. And uh, so that put me at two cards. The number one super collector had three cards and I happened to stumble across this one. This is a 2017 historic autographs. And so this comes already pre-slabbed and this is a cut auto of Clarence Marshall. Has a very nice autograph. So I thought that would be fun just to pick this up and uh, just have a little piece of memorabilia from him. Ties me for the top spot as the number one super collector of Clarence Marshall. So I don't know if I'll be able to track down one of his other cards. They are look pretty hard to find. All right, let's jump into our mail. This one here is from Danny over at Mets Rule. Looks like we got a Christmas card. Merry Christmas. And we have, Andy, sorry for the daily. Hope you and your family had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. Wishing all of you a happy and healthy 2022. Hope you can use this for your 1999 top set. Your pal Dan Metz rule. Oh, very nice. So we got some stamps. Always love adding that. And then nice, this one is awesome. This is a nice 89 tops Mike Kingery. So that is a sweet looking one. So I actually, I did pick up this one recently, but this is a much better copy than the one I have. So I will definitely be upgrading my set and adding this one to the collection. So that is very cool. So thank you, Dan, that is awesome. Next one here is from Shane over at Shoebox Legends. And we got a little note here. It says, Andy, thanks for keeping an eye out for 1990 tops items for me and for be generous and awesome member of the car community a few 89 buybacks for you so cheers shane aka shoebox legends oh man we got a bunch of buybacks in here so i'm gonna take a minute open these up and we'll see what we got p.s shout out for the tabs love that so shane is the king of buybacks and so uh i sent him a couple cards and he said hey what do you need for 89 tops so i sent him what i had and he sent me this giant stack. So we'll go through these here. Probably just kind of flip through them. A bunch of these are, um, looks like these are bronze. Nice Danny Jackson all-star card. That is awesome. Mel Hall gold. That's a cool one. Ron Darling. Rick Cerrone. Brian Holton. Tim Burke. That's a sweet one. Stan Jefferson. Oh, ooh, is this the, uh, that's like an error card. So that's a pretty sweet one. Got the silver. Dave Dravecki, love that one. Don Slot, gold. Ooh, a blue, I don't have many blues. That's sweet. Tony Phillips, Greg Harris, silver. Frank Williams, red, <clears throat> color match, very nice. Eddie Winston, Robbie Thompson, Jose Guzman, he's got a gold, he actually signs. Uh, Al Leiter, Mike Heath on the gold. John Candelaria with the silver. Ooh, nice, Mike Campbell. Ooh, that, that looks awesome with the gold. Love that one. Jeff Blauser Gold, Jeff Reed, Monty Ferris. Ooh, love getting the number one draft picks in silver. Don Hinkle, he actually signs as well. Jose Batista, Donnie Hill, Greg Brock, Jerry Brown, who signs, and Juan Castillo. And last one here, <clears throat> Dan Pasca. 
who also signs. So that'd be kind of cool to actually get some of those signed. Thank you, Shane, for hooking me up with those. Gotta love the 89 buybacks. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for today. Post in the comments, what was your favorite card? Always love hearing what you guys have to say. And if you wanna check out some more videos, there's gonna be one right there and another one right there. So take your pick and thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.